the wow. the Harry Potter movie, the final one, is rated NC seventeen, and everyone's <laughs> speculating why. Like, oh my god, this is the final movie. Someone must die. Right, and it crazy must... shit. Like, <laughs> but it's just like thirty <laughs> seconds of like full <laughs> penetration. <laughs> <laughs> Um, fuck, dude. Nice tits. Thanks. I said that last time. Did you? Last episode, I said, I looked at you, I thought about commenting on something you're wearing, and then I said, nice tits. And then you said, thank you, I brought these shoes. <laughs> I just put it right past <laughs> For the shoot. It's funny to me and others, hopefully. Yeah, we'll see about that. We will. This is the Slime Zone. It I'm is. Michael. Uh, your name is Jesse. Yeah, also... Uh, some people call me my name. So, also known as my name. <laughs> my also name. known as Django, Django Stibbles, Stibbles, formerly Django Stubbles. That's right. A.K.A. Je- Jeffy Gilfin That's right. Waters. Dang, I got a lot now. You're a man of many aliases. Oh, I'm getting a voicemail right now. Why is it playing? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> no idea. Oh, <laughs> Huh. <laughs> no idea. Accidentally uh, received, started like opening a voicemail as it was happening. Now everyone knows that phone number. Call him. Call him. We insist. Ask him for money. Yes. Yeah, see how they like it. Hey, you got any money? <laughs> I think that's a probably better way to make a living than most. Just call. Just Cold punch numbers in your phone. That's sweet. Until you get like connected with somebody and then ask them for money. It's so genre breaking that it's like if you received a call and it was like hi uh you don't know me i'm jessica walters um i'm literally dying ran- dialing random numbers asking for money and there's no catch there's um it's literally like if you're into that my venmo is this do you want to give me <laughs> there's any no amount? catch you give me a hundred dollars to it no strings attached <laughs> yeah it's free and clear for you in in that that's all that it is right I think you're bound to yield at least some money. So this reminds me of high school where, and let me, I'd be curious, I assume at, at Barstow, this is not a thing that goes on, but at Binghamton High School, there's a type of person who would just ask for like a quarter all the time. It was an activity that anyone could tap into, but there were some people where it was like, that person is always asking for money How is that during lunch. An activity, what, to buy lunch? There's just characters at this school where during lunch, they just go around, they're like, can I have a quarter? Can I have a quarter? Will you give me a quarter? Why? B- because they want to buy something. I'm sorry. I went to private school. Exactly. I just, I just don't understand. Exactly. I went to a, an inner city public school in a low, in a economically depressed city. Oh my god! <laughs> and you you bought your lunch with money. Uh, yeah, and you only need a dollar twenty five to buy lunch for the most part. Dollar fifty. But if you had extra quarters, you could get like a brownie, maybe. Sure. Yeah. But some people would be like, "I'm gonna get lunch money by asking twenty people for quarters." Oh. Huh. Which. Is partially out of a necessity. Respect the hustle. Right. And for, for some people, it was just like a system that worked. It's like, yeah, well, whatever. I just got to get five quarters and I'm good. But then there's like, I knew a guy who was like, I made $12 today just asking for quarters just because you can. Huh? You just can. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, life hack. Yeah. <laughs> Begging <laughs> works. <laughs> it does. I'm not giving you your fucking scraps. This is to your credit of like do the I phone look like idea. A, do I look like the Red Cross? That's yeah. why I say that bum. Do I look like the Red Cross? <laughs> oh, Michael, you're my hero. That's what your crush says yeah. when you say that. She loves it when I bully the poor kid. <laughs> oh, my God, with a <laughs> really bad, like, <laughs> like, like, uh, platitude. Yeah, and I, I put on, like, a, a Brooklyn accent. Just, what do I look like? The Red Cross? Beat it, bub. <laughs> All right, so uh, what do you want to do next, honey? Right. Sweet, sweetie pie. And she's not dating you yet, but you're doing that. Right. I just talk to all women like that. Right. But and you're in a suit and you have a cigar and it's a pinstripe suit. Yeah, I'm wearing a pinstripe suit. You got a cigar in my mouth. I got a Bluetooth in my ear. Oh, sure. Before AirPods. You have a Tommy gun too, though. Tommy gun. You know, the one with like the round like ammo yeah. thing. Yeah, no, I'm just uh, a guy from Bioshock. I got a fucked up face. You're a guy O'Shock of Bioshock. Nice, dude. Have you played Bioshock? Are you familiar with it? Infinite. You've only played Infinite? That's it, though. Oh, you don't get it. Then. I don't. Different aesthetic. Different aesthetic. A lot of Ayn Rand, though. 
I guess if you're into reading, but I'm not because I'm straight. Oh my God. Should I cut that out, what I just said? Well, it just depends on the lucidity of level of our audience. I. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like. <laughs> it's not like this is a Discord chat with a vetted group of people. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to pump money into promoting this to literally, literally anonymous random people. Yeah. Well, and now we've ex- we're kind of clarifying ourselves. Based here. off of the the com- some of the comments that we do get, you know, not the brightest, <laughs> not the brightest tools in my ass. The cummy bears thing. It's like, of course, of course, it's, it's real cum. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, fake. <laughs> People be like, oh my god, please don't tell me this is real. And it's like, nah. I, well, I guess I'm kind of seeing it their way. I it's. It's not hard to make that a real thing. It's not like out of the fucking question, you know? No, I mean, all you got to do is jack off. But you would ar- <laughs> you could argue, <laughs> like with trepidation, I mean, dude, let's get real here for a second. It's just as easy. It's like if we really did it, if, like it would be really easy if you want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and the best part about cummy bears, it's so easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but also like, would that get flagged? Like, is that sexually explicit to be like, you're looking at real cum right now, you know? You know, I pay little to no heed. Uh, you don't. W- the, the shit that Instagram lets me promote uncensored, to me, indicates Especially that the they've job. changed the rules or something. Yeah. TikTok still sucks. Yeah, they're hypersensitive for but some it, reason. Yeah, what the fuck? Is it all the children? They've all grown up now. Gen Alpha, they're not on TikTok. <laughs> they're on Zango. 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 Yeah, you don't even know. Saw through my ruse. I made that up. Yeah. Well, it sounds right. <sighs> but yeah, I mean, I feel like I could uh, I could insist that it's a real cum that you're eating yeah. on camera yeah. in an Instagram post and it still wouldn't get flagged. <laughs> yeah, it seems generous. Because you don't see penis. You don't see nipple. No. That's all they care about. Visible genitalia. <sighs> Nipples and right. hate speech, right. right? Which is good. The last one is I don't give a fuck about nipples. Yeah, we talked about that. I wish one. I wish I saw more pussy on Instagram. <laughs> I need to stop talking. I'm gonna definitely cut that. I'm just gonna bleep. He the always says thing. that, and he doesn't. Sometimes I do, and nah, you don't even know. That's right. I've actually never cut a thing when I say I'm gonna cut that. Yeah, that's like a calling card for like it's definitely in there and promoted now. Right, <laughs> clip that. Put twenty bucks into it. <laughs> put a hundred bucks into that one. It's funny to so many. Yeah, well, it depends on your definition of so many. <laughs> yeah, but it's not- funny to plenty. Yeah, it's mostly uh, not particularly divisive, which is good. I think the most divisive clip we've ever had was the. Uh, the fucking Elon Musk the yeah. billionaires alignment chart. Yeah, people have and all the all the weird like red pilled, uh, you know, people came out of the woodwork, cucking for Elon Musk. I'm like, he's not a god. It's weird how that's like polarizing. Like, don't talk about my untouchable demigod in that way. You know what I mean? It's like, what? Like, of all things, that's the thing you like, of all things in my life, I will stand up for the richest man on earth. And it's like, you make 45K, like, yeah, but he represents my ability to make it a lot. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you that? Yeah, oh. that's certainly how people feel about Donald Trump. Right. Elon Musk has done some good, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's not clear his worth worth to this earth he's got so much potential he did worth to this earth i mean he brought electric vehicles into the mainstream he made them cool or rather he played a part in it for what that's <laughs> worth but he also is fucking psycho yeah he's coming on down <laughs> and, a little bit and politically uh he's going in on this this chick uh who was in the mandalorian i guess who's yeah canceled and got Gina fired something yeah gina carano I saw her, I was at the gym, and Fox News is always on one of the you TVs at the gym. They got it. And I can't balance. look away, because I'm always baffled at what's going it's on. It's pretty wild, yeah. And 
Gina Carano was on. Um, <laughs> she was on, like as a talking head yes, for a thing. Because they were like, oh they were like woke mob bully cancels the bully woke Dang. mob cancels her or whatever. Okay. And I was like, oh, what'd she do? And I looked it up and like, oh, she's the one who compared to being a Republican to being in the Holocaust. Yeah. And like, yeah, you know what? That is anti-Semitic. That's a That's really ridiculous. not okay thing to say. Yeah. But obviously all the pundits on Fox were eating her muff and like, <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's the woke bully mob. You can say that. That's fine. It's a totally normal and well-adjusted thing to say. It's pretty wild. <laughs> like freedom of speech. Yeah, whatever. She does have freedom of speech. She can fucking say whatever she wants. But Disney's a private corporation. They're allowed to not buy right. into that. Right. You know, right. That's that's the, that's the whole argument. That's what was going on on Fox. Is yeah. like, is censorship like the thing now? Does the Second Amendment <laughs> not exist? Or whatever the fucking free speech one is. And I'm like, no, it's fine. What is she? Is she under arrest or being, you know, fucking banished from the United States? Right. No, she just uh, she threw her career away because she, she wanted to put a hot take on Twitter that she knew was controversial. Yeah, is she like defrauded and poor now? I don't know. I doubt it. She's on national television. She's fine. Yeah, she's just she's gonna get Morgan Wallen out of this. Oh yeah, probably. That's right, right. Her publicist probably typed that tweet up for her. This is gonna pay dividends. Is this like the apology tweet? She, did she do something, or did she like double down? No, I'm I'm talking about the racist tweet. Oh, the Holocaust got it, got tweet. It, I'm I'm joking. It. I'm like I only brought this up because um, Elon Musk is going in on the lawsuit with her apparently. Whoa, and, he's co-signing. Uh, yeah, I don't know how that works, but that's what the Fox News headline said. And I was looking it up and all the articles were about how Elon Musk is championing her cause and in imploring uh ex users to um X. to like you know, side with her or whatever, which is stupid. Um Man. What the hell? What else was I gonna say about that? It's all very interesting. Uh oh yeah, I found this very interesting part of the like lawsuit. Part of what they're she's asking for is for Disney to be forced to recast her. That how uncomfortable would that mm. be? To be brought back on the show after all this shit happened because like they had I don't I don't think that's is that even possible? Can can, can a judge force that to happen? Yeah, hire her. <laughs> no, <laughs> be a, to a private company. Hey, hire that chef back at that restaurant. It's like we're not hiring. I don't want. She's not. <laughs> you know I mean? No, she's bad at her job. I don't get it. It seems it seems easy to not do any of that, dude. It's so easy to not tweet yeah it's like I do it fucking, every day <laughs> yeah i do it in my sleep that's how easy it is yeah it's like it's people are like oh you're so hypersensitive it's like yeah but you like most people go about their day not feeling like that number one and not saying it even if they were like "Ooh, that'd be fun to just say just cut like no all of it's a little departed from just being a normal good person right and it, it seems like, what, you made a tweet? What do you mind? It's like, what do you fucking tweet about? It's weird. <laughs> it's nowhere near that, right? For the most part. No, of course. That's like a that's like an intentionally controversial tweet. Exactly. About nice. the persecution of Republicans in this country. We're rounding up Republicans exactly. and gassing them to death. And yeah, that's what we're doing by firing one rich person from a Disney show. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here we are talking about politics ish, politics ish, ish, right? It's adjacent. Just two white boys talking about stuff. Yeah. That's not what the slam zone is about. What is it about to you? It's about taking randomly generated nouns and coming up with funny new ways to say them. Sign me up. Like corn, we could call uh, fiber teeth. Yeah, fiber teeth or, or studded, uh, studded, uh, studded. <laughs> I'm working on that one. Corn, corn was bad. It's hard. <clears throat> Where do you grow corn? What part of the country? It's ribbed starch. Oh, Ohio. <laughs> ribbed starch. <laughs> oh, I was going to say an Ohio uh, butt plug or something. Right, right. That's funny too. But actually, we are going to do that. That's okay. our segment. It's Yay. called Slimonyms. Oh. Cool. Yeah, I thought it'd be fun and funny for us to just... I'm just going to pull up a random noun generator. 
Perfect. And um, I I want us to put our heads together and invent some synonyms. We will. For words. Synonym toast crunch, baby. Because we're so good at that. I came up with this idea when I was telling some people I was going to go to the gym. And I called it the Meat Emporium. <laughs> and everyone was so confused. I love that. <laughs> the Meat Emporium. Which it is. People go to the gym for meat oriented reasons you go yeah. to shape your own meat yeah you rip it up and heal it yeah you do you over grow it again. you shave it off it's the meat sculpting palace <laughs> yeah yeah uh and I, I i realized i do the do that with a lot of things i don't like to call things what they're called uh, as as do you no you don't and i don't too and we have different philosophies on how to do that which probably makes for a good episode <laughs> I sure <laughs> you like I, the synopsis? Sh- I sure hope so. That was that's the pitch that I, I led with when we were pitching this to our shareholders. Right. Target. We we are alike in this way, but approach it differently. Yeah. All right. Well I'm gonna yeah, hit the generate soup. button. All right. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay. This is weird. Feast. I guess feast is a feast. noun. Feast. A feast. A feast. Yeah. A feast. You could call it you could call it a a, a meat party. A myriad meal. Myriad meal? Yeah. Interesting. How about that? I guess, the, yeah, that is good. A myriad meal. A feast. <laughs> I like that. What did you say? I said a meat party. A meat party, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, Yeah, you know. Uh, Definitely a meat party. I'm trying not to be too cute with it, but I can only think of cute things, like a cuisine convention. Oh, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I like that a lot. <laughs> Queezcon. <laughs> Queezcon. <laughs> That's that afterward. Like word. <laughs> Queezcon, you know, <laughs> there's Queezcon followed by Queezcon. Right, <laughs> Queezcon, Ad- adorable. I like that. All right, new word, new okay. word coming up. Oh, this is bank book. A bank. Jeez, I don't. That's really These esoteric. These are going hard. I think I'm gonna skip All bank right. book. Fuck that. We got segment. Whoa, that's also esoteric. A bridgy boy. A bridgy boy. Yeah. A link, a link, a linko, <laughs> linko. We pass a linko, and, and I'm thinking about segments in in a meta f- sense. Like this is a segment in I a know. podcast. It's a a partition of sorts. Partition. I think line segment, like math, immediately. A line segment, interesting. Because to me, it was insane to learn that like a line, the definition of a line mathematically is that it never, it's infinite. I was like, what? I was like, no. A line is that. And they're like, that's a line segment. I was always like, that's insane <laughs> yeah, to me. Go back to preschool and learn what lines are. Very interesting. Um, yeah, Bridgy Boy. Yeah, Partition. Yeah. I'm going to get another one in All the right, next we'll year. Find, we'll find Something will kick us off in a good way. This I keep this. doing alliteration also. But I'm proud of Myriad Mail. Yeah, alliteration works, you know. Yeah. We've got Herb. And okay, herb. H-E-R-B. Yeah, like a uh, a spicy leaf. That's good. Yeah. Right. Like that's really good. Or a um Yeah. It's yeah, zest greens. Zest greens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, herbs are green traditionally. Traditionally, right. All right. It could be a little different. Okay, we got van. <gasps> <laughs> van? Uh if I owned a van. This is good. This has potential. Yeah, yeah. I need to think of these things if, as if I owned them. And I'm talking to people. It's like a mobile shanty. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's I'd a, call it my dump cube. Right. Or something. Right, right, I'd call right, my right. van my... Uh, vans are cubic, which I feel like really... Oh, you're thinking like a, like a white van. Like a classic, like a work van. Not necessarily. Okay. But I'm thinking mini van for some reason. Mini van? That's the last... I guess it's a, a different noun. I'm thinking of a van that I live in. You... Oh, right, right. Oh, like an RV level almost. Yeah, I mean, not, I mean, yeah, not quite an RV, but a van, like van life. Right. A van can be quite social, and you're passing stuff, and the seat arrangement is particular. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, just the hookah lounge. The hookah lounge is right. great. Is the, a great. That's a good, like, just good. name for your van. Have you been to a hookah lounge? Uh, yeah, not in a while. Me either. Very long time. I've never enjoyed it. Makes sense. I've it, it, I take it or leave it. You know, hookah was a big thing in Murfreesboro. Oh, it makes perfect <laughs> sense because it was a big quote unquote not big thing in Binghamton, but we had a hookah lounge that was a hit. It's just a it's just a thing you do in places where there's nothing else to do. 
Yeah, and all and if it's they like have it. you can do it when you're 18 too. Right, that's so a big reason. We would go to the hookah lounge and be like, we're hardcore, like and drink like Coke. <laughs> go to the hookah lounge, drink Coke, drink Cokes, and and, do hookah. Yeah, and literally Coca Cola to people not from my region of the country. <laughs> Anyways, hookah was definitely big between the ages of 18 and 20. Too. It's this like puberty zone of like vicery. Right. You it's can't weird. go to the bar, but you can go to the hookah lounge with the other losers. I can technically be there, okay? <laughs> but I can't drink, but I can smoke, but not cigarettes, but tobacco, but not weed. Right. It's like, okay. <laughs> but it's such, it's so much tobacco. Like it's, it's a lot. Really bad. For oh my you. God. It fucks you up in a not good way. Yeah. It should be a rarity. Yeah. We're huffing dust. <laughs> That's all there is to do. <laughs> it's just your turn, my turn. This feels good that these word games also inspire side conversations. That's great because we need to fill time. This podcast is hard to do. This is a hard job. Okay. New, this is a terrible one. All right. It's the it's load, but L O D E. Uh, like I don't a know mother what that means. load. New one. Chap? No. Jeez, man. Now these are all terrible. I know. They're so... Okay. Surgeon. Surgeon. A, uh, this is perfect. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. A flesh chef. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I love anything meat-oriented. The gut rearranger. Yeah, the gut rearranger. The, um... Yeah, your... Your... Uh... My slice dock. Yeah. So I was gonna say knife dock. My knife dock. Slice dock. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? The... the Meat, sir, meat, meat artist, meat artist, or something. <laughs> you said meat. Oh, I said flesh, flesh artist. Perfect. I call it. I'm calling it art. Surgery is art. It's. I don't really feel that it's way. It's crazy. It's like <laughs> this is kind of esoteric. My invader. My invader. It doesn't get more invasive than being like, well, let's come over and fuck with the inside. Yeah, of I me. guess in terms of <laughs> medical procedures. My invader. My slicey dicey boy. Yeah, dad. My <laughs> slice daddy. My surgeon <laughs> slice daddy. But yeah, I guess that conveys authority. But uh, no, surgeons well, are daddies. You know? You know? I mean, they're the end of the line for a lot of people. It's like, look, no matter what goes on in my life, it might end up in the hands of a surgeon. I've got a good one. Okay. Flesh tailor. <laughs> my flesh tailor. Yeah, oh my god, yeah, just get some shit mixed around, moved around. Yeah, they go in there, they, <laughs> they uh, yeah, they tighten things up. Custom made to my specifications. Custom made kidney transplant. <laughs> right. Love that. Surgeon's good. You got yeah. some good ones in there. I think so. All right, new word. The word is drinking. Okay. If I'm being honest, I'm not going to call drinking drinking. I'm going to call it gurgling, gargling. I'm going to aspirate some liquids. Yeah. But those are different things. They are. Um, let's see. Gender. That's a little hot. It's, it's a hot hard, topic. Yeah, you don't necessarily want to make fun of it at all. Yeah. And plus, I get <laughs> gender and sex mixed up because I'd say my crotch status, maybe. Oh, <laughs> right. There's so many people in the comments being like, this is the problem with the terminology. Right, but I, don't, I just don't know. Like, I it's, know. I, it, uh, it's funny. We're both heteronormative boys. I, I presume. Yeah. <laughs> um, My garage that is. Okay. Leather. Okay. Something with the word taut in it. I just, <laughs> I would say hide, which is leather. Yeah. That's just, that's a clean one. If I'm, if I'm going to. Let me get my hide. Yeah. If I'm going to go, go shop for a leather jacket, I'm going to, I'm shopping for hide. Yeah. I, I, I'm looking for my. My cured oh, why, epidermis. Why, yeah. <laughs> why is it like fancy? I guess it's because it's, you know, anytime you're wearing a dead animal of some kind, it's like, I, I'm, i you know, top of the food chain. That's how I got here kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Leather being considered like nicer. Like leather is, having leather interior in a car is nice. Right. I feel like that's totally a social construct. Right. I mean, is leather more comfortable than cloth? You know, not really. I know. That's not it's why you weird. get leather seats. It's, it's like meaty. It's for the aesthetic. Is leather is easier to clean? That's true, but it's also much more fragile. That's right. Um, Easily cut it. More, it's yeah. It's it's susceptible to scratches. It's so. taut. I think it's taut. It is taut. It's a taut cape. It depends on how you're wearing. Leather. I want some my. I want some taut cow skin. Yeah. Stretch over my seats. Yeah. All right. Moving Let's on. Let's move on. Dwelling. Okay. So Whoa. I guess you house. would call your house that you would say this is your dwelling. I I would to, to basically do the game on the word house, which that's true because I never say my house. I say my shithole. Yeah, or my abode. Yeah, my dwelling. 
like that makes normal sense for yeah. you to have said that in the wild. I mostly call it my dump and my shit. You do, you've always called it your dump. I could call it my jerk off cube. cube. Yeah, which that's a good delineate. It's like this is the cube I jerk off. I mostly don't jerk off in other cubes. It's the main <laughs> thing that I do here. Also, it's kind of why you buy it. Yeah, I needed a, a place to blow my loads. Yeah, it's a sleep box. The sleep box. It's a. It's your. It's, a it's your. It's a parking it's a parking spot for your for your corpse for your life. Yeah. Oh yeah, shit! It's, your, it's a shoe box. Yeah. It's you know you're a frog in this shoe box. I'm a frog. You're the, a proverbial frog. I'm a proverbial in your frog. proverbial shoe box. Now you're speaking with holes punched sense. in it. Right for air. Yeah, there's air in here. Okay. Punch some holes, yeah. I poked a few holes, but not a ton of air back here. We are asphyxiating. Can't wait to die. Me too. That's why we're that's why we're buds. <laughs> okay. okay. This one's interesting. Okay. Magnet. Oh my god. A magnet is nothing more than a zap rocks. Zap rock. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say a a sucky rock. Yeah. S- sucks things to it. I know, and it's also like a repulsive rock. His repulsive too. Repulsive rock. Uh, the strokes, am I right? Repulsing. All, we're just letting them laugh. Repulsive rock. The strokes. Do you think the strokes are repulsive? I don't know. I just picked a rock band. Well, I don't really care for him. You don't like the strokes? Do you like the strokes? Yeah, well enough. I love a little reptilian. I'll, I'll sit through the strokes. Last I'll be like, night. That's fine. You know, it's repulsive rock. There's got to be a better answer for that. I there mean, is. Kid yeah. rock. Oh, that's 100% the Fucking guy call that for that. You're the guy for this. <laughs> hmm. My like, magic iron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the best one. Yeah. It's also a horseshoe, the conventional magnet, you know, right. shape. So it's like, you know, the sucky horseshoe. It's a long, long distance uh, sucky uh, boy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's not good. That's not Magnets good are... One of the most insane things. They are fucked How up. How the fuck does that happen? Man? I'll never understand it. I'm pretty sure it is just magic, right? It's God, yeah. I'm too stupid to really come up with another answer, so I'm going to turn to religion. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> got him. You know who you are. <laughs> yeah, you boy. <laughs> All right, well, I'm moving You felt on. a little shame when he finished that sentence. Did you learn something about yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I felt bad about it, but not too bad. I'm moving on. Telephone. Okay. Whoa. A chitty chatty. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Or like a squanker box. My antenna. My antenna. Yeah. <laughs> my antenna. My antenna banana. The old the old phone sh- the classic phone shape. With like with a with, with the receiver, receiver and everything. It's like a banana. Banana huh. phone. You know? It is. Uh how about a uh screechy cube? Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, well, telephone is not smartphone. Like, when I see telephone, it's like a maybe even a rotary. Right. If it said so, phone, I'd just say, like, you know, my sadness rectangle yeah. or something. <laughs> yeah. But my, a telephone. My like, forever spreadsheet. <laughs> telephone is um, my, my dingy. Ding, yeah, my dingaling. My dingy dong. My talkie box. <sighs> yeah, it's a, t- you know, it's my chatterbox. Yeah. It's my chatterbox. I think these are all very tasty my outreach mechanism my outreach mechanism that's good Thanks. that's good that's what nathan Pyle would call it yeah <laughs> wait right exactly the aliens that's guy very wow he had a whole thing didn't he yeah <laughs> oh, we gotta get him on the pot he keeps e- emailing me and he's i just haven't responded he's canceled okay we're not gonna get you on the podcast and tank our reputation is he canceled he did get he he got some backlash from what F- uh, i don't remember but it was something about like I think he's actually super Christian and oh. people didn't expect that. Interesting. But but maybe he said something with regards to his wife. Someone found like an old Facebook post of his and was like, this is kind that's of That's what cringe. it's about. That is, if that's, the, that is insane that that's the standard that we're holding, yeah. holding each other to. That happens. Sorry, I'm, now I have to look this up. Yeah, you do. Nathan Pyle canceled. This was four years ago. Okay. I guess it's something about pro-choice stuff. Yes, that was the thing. I don't remember it being explicit what he said, 
but I remember it being like, this seems kind of pro uh, lifey. Yeah, people just blew it out of proportion. Yeah, but so. he's like, he's like, we have our private beliefs that pertain to our Christian faith. We also believe in separation of church and state. Our votes go to the Democratic Party. Yeah, he's not even like lobbying for that shit. Right. All right. I think people were just like, no, clearly this like lucid like guy who does these comics about the state of the world is super left. And I think they were just disappointed. Sure. Well, that happens. <laughs> yeah, it does. Sorry. Don't, yeah, pe- stop, having, people. stop idolizing people. Get over it. Yeah. By the way, keep watching us. Keep idolizing. Yeah, please idolize, idolize me. Idolize a little bit longer. I would like to be your new God, if you'll let me. <laughs> he's he's really good at I it. I treat my disciples well. Jesse will tell you. Yeah, it's pretty good. Free applesauce on Tuesdays. Yeah, which I'm never free, so I never get it. But like, it's there. I mean, it is there. I always set it out for you, and you never take it. Yeah, well, it's telling me my new random noun is the word by, which is definitely not a noun. We got half sister. Half? What the fuck, man? <laughs> I guess it's pulling from like every noun possible, but it's like they're all very strange. My half sister. This is good, though. Yeah, that's my, you know. My guest star sibling. <laughs> guest star. <laughs> that's good. She's not your co star because your sister is your co star. But she's guest starring. <laughs> half sister, half sister in and of itself. You know, you would ordinarily call your half sister your just your sister, right? Right, because she's got some of the same genealogy, right? Like you share a parent, yeah, but only one, right? Okay, so you're Is that right, yeah, your bastard sibling, <laughs> depending on which which parent produced it. Right, I fucking hate my dad. This is hard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like. You this. fucking hate your dad, but that's the one who gives you another sibling. And you're like, this was a chance to just get a stepsister, and now <laughs> <laughs> stepsis. Okay, that's a whole thing too. That's a whole I don't thing. Understand why? This is a weird deformation. Jesus, like a like a fucking uh, my oblongity. Yeah, yeah, a little. God hiccup. Yeah, that's it right there. <laughs> my God. <laughs> my oh. just a mistake. Yeah. My smudge. Scent, like a penny. A waft. Oh, C-E-N-T. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Like my micro dollars. <laughs> micro dollars. I mean, that's straight up what it is. It's like yeah. like the prefix micro. Micro dollars. Means or, you know, my, like, my centi dollars, I guess it would, or my, hmm. I guess a cent. Wow, I never realized this. Never analyzed this. <laughs> my token. Yeah, yeah, my tokens. My tokens. My micro tokens. My metal patties. <laughs> metal patties. <laughs> my metal fucking. I mean, all change uh, is metal patties, but. Yes. Yes, cent, which you could argue. It is a little patty or biscuit. call a nickel a cent of, of sorts. I wouldn't. I'd call it a nickel. All right. A, ni- a nickel is five cents. Yeah, you're right. Several cents. Um, all right, generating again. List. Okay. Hmm. My subsequence. <laughs> my subsequence. My task inventory. Yeah, my arrangement of values. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess I'm thinking of a to-do list. Me too. Uh, yeah, I'm reaching. My quest log. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My exactly. My there's also just like you know my paperwork. Right. All right. New word. Swan. Huh. Sexy bird. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Fucking my f- my f- fuck goose. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it is a fuck goose. If I had a swan, I would refer to it as my fuck my goose. My gallant my gallant avium. Yeah, you know, that sounds like a randomly generated Microsoft like username. Totally. You know how Xbox 360 Underscore would, 3. Right. Yeah. <laughs> gallant underscore. Gallant, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my my wedding my wedding wings. <laughs> wedding wings. Oh, wedding wings over here think they're oh, hot wedding shit. Wings. Swans are just like sexy geese. It's so I think, true. I feel really good about fuck goose. You feel good about it? I feel good about it. I'm glad I said it. Cool. If it's I had to fuck an animal, that's a good question. Yeah, that's a whole episode, baby. Yeah. What's the sexiest animal? If you had to fuck an animal, God, I'd fuck a goose. Man, not I'm a like, goose, a I'm swan. Like so, so hard to enter that headspace. <laughs> what got the uh, the gals on that time of the week canceled? Uh, right, to Dobermans the ex- to the extent. No, not Dobermans. Great Danes. Oh, Great Danes. They 
had a running joke. Well, it turned into one after it blew up. They were just talking about Great Danes for some reason. And one of the girls was like, Loki, like, Great Danes are kind of hot. Oh my God. <laughs> and then, and then just, they like kept digging in. Right. They're riffing on it. Great yeah. Danes are kind of like I, hot. I it's like giving Adam with, Driver. I, like, I wouldn't obviously sexually abuse it, <laughs> but I would feel horny. Yeah. If Stuart was in a room, with him. I wouldn't feel horny, but I would feel like awkward being naked in front yeah. of the different uh, uh, I'd, be like, I'd be like, you know, I'm peeing. Uh, they're just so big. Wait, like, maybe instead of a boyfriend, I should get a Great Dane and just be like, you're my boyfriend. Yeah. People, someone posted on Reddit, like out of context, and then it blew up. Sure. Which, and then st- and the girl. Stewart, the girl who said that, got fired from her job. That seems just like a misunderstanding on many angles. It's just it's comedy, it's right? Not, like, is there some like but humanitarian some issue? I mean, I'm sure there's issues I can't clock with bestiality. Like, I'm sure there's a whole realm of conversations around like bestiality or joking about it in this way. It's like has further impacts that you don't realize, and like you should be more careful with it. Maybe so. I mean, but yeah, that's true of everything ever. Educate me, but so. I feel like if I don't, a Great Dane was it's, horny enough. It's funny. I couldn't stop it from fucking me. And yeah, it'd probably a tough be, battle. Probably be good. Um, <laughs> a good experience for you. Probably. I understand various concepts. What if I stopped talking about this and moved on? and moved on? Let's see. I don't know. All right. The Maybe new. Like the next word is household. Again, my personal jail. <laughs> <laughs> well, household. I think has a different connotation than, than dwelling. Dwelling. I think of a family, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's an it has a reputation. You're building a a vibe. My tribe. With your household. I guess I don't really Yeah. Your dwelling is is more like the sterile designation of it. The household is like you've developed this into a cultural your it's not it's under your terms. It has its own feel right. to it now. My grounds, my it castle. Has history. Household's hard. My lore, my lore chamber. My lore chamber. That's this really, is where it all happens. It's really out there. Yeah. This is where I live my life. My life story operates from this place. This is my yeah my life repository. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. This is my default menu. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move on. Okay. The the next random noun is people. Ooh, that's pretty all encompassing. This is this could go a lot of ways. Yeah. Gremlins, Cretans. Yeah. These are synonyms for people. Stimuli, receivers. Yeah. <laughs> Bumbling fucking idiots. My pain sponges. Yeah, pain sponges. <laughs> people yeah. are but lightning rods for suffering. <laughs> yeah, we're just antennas to sensation. It's true. My sen- my antennas to sensation. <laughs> my playthings. Yeah. People are my playthings. I like like feel sponge or pain sponge. My pain <laughs> sponge, my tactile, uh, you know, tactile fleshed flesh bone, flesh bone. I got nothing. Yeah, it's like, oh, you're expecting? Yup. I'm going to be having my very own pain sponge. <laughs> pain, <laughs> they yep. are just going to feel bad all the time. Now, now when you put it in that context and you used it in a sentence, it feels great. Right. I'm having another antenna for sensation. <laughs> Afterthought. Whoa. Yeah, that's, that's a complex word. My synaptic delay. That's good. That's it's great, pretty actually. Straightforward. It's a synaptic delay. An afterthought. It kind of makes it makes it more usable to me. I don't really say afterthought, but I might start saying synaptic it's delay. It's a practical word. It is. Yeah. Makes, and it's self pretty descriptive. Yeah, it is. Afterthought. There's a lot of good stuff here. Is there? I don't know. Clearly, it's overflowing from my mouth right now. <laughs> like something about the like like the uh, lazy something. Right. A posthumous idea. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. A posthumous idea. A dead guy. It's just a dead guy. It's just a dead guy. Oh, I had a dead guy after our meeting. It was this. Right. <laughs> They'll know what you mean. Yeah. What? No, it was like a whatever. All right, we've got a very <laughs> vanilla word here. Yeah. Hamburger. Vanilla. <laughs> hamburger? The word is hamburger. Okay. A wheat my, patty. My farm tower. <laughs> <laughs> farm tower? Yeah, it's just produce. I suppose it you is. You know, it's just all, shit from the farm that you just stack on top of each other. A cow flesh sandwich. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's good. What was your first one? A wheat patty. A wheat patty. Because buns are made of wheat. Is it just hamburger? 
Yeah, but a hamburger is. A, I know it's like the complete thing. Yeah, a wheat patty. Uh, it's a not a. It's not a good one that I said. Oh, okay. I was just trying. <laughs> I'm to just thinking of okay, the hamburger and the bread. It's it's meat and there's wheat. Yeah. Okay, wheat patty. I don't know. W e a t. I think it's a it's a a flesh a flesh disc sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> Is what makes a hamburger <laughs> yeah. a hamburger. It's yeah. always a fl- it's always flesh in a loosely disc form. A sandwich never has a <laughs> flesh frisbee. disc in it. It's a meat frisbee too. A, a meat frisbee is the patty. The patty itself. It's a yeah. meat frisbee sandwich or it's a tucked a meat in meat frisbee. Tower. frisbee. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tucked in. Give me a meat frisbee tucked in. <laughs> yeah, drizzle some it? sauce on there and make it squeal. <laughs> yeah, send it to the fucking beach. What? Son of a beach and on it. shit on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I'll take a tucked in meat patty, drizzle some suffering on it, spank it, twist it, and throw it to the dogs. No. Fuck it. I hate it. Teach it math. <laughs> I write this one. Yeah, come right up. And then it's just, just like. They just cook it like 30 seconds longer. I and know. After all that, it's like. Put oh, yeah, some. Little... Put, put relish on it. <laughs> okay. How about gerbil? Whoa. My fat mouse. Fat mouse. <laughs> You're coming from it from the opposite direction. I was thinking like a toy rat. Cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a it's a domesticated rat, really. You know, you're a gerbil is uh, in a way, yeah. It's a domestic rat. But rats can be pets, so Just my, my my pinchy puff ball. My bloated <laughs> crunch nugget. Yeah, yeah <laughs> totally. <laughs> It's pretty yeah, dark. It's good. But it is what it is. Um, My fuzz face. Little fuzz face. They're cute sometimes. Very cute. Oh, they smell weird. How about this? Boss. The oh, noun is my boss. My overlord. My overlord. My uh, superior. Come my on. work daddy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My, uh, my lord. My, lo- my, Ooh, my lord oh, is good. My lord. You know, just being that, like recognizing that you are that in the modern day. Being a oh, boss is being a lord of sorts, an overseer. An overseer? In the slavery sense. I like bringing back lord. It's just that we don't want, like, I feel like collectively as a society, landlord. You know, the, the, the word lord has been retained in that concept. And it's like, it's almost as draconian. It's almost like we keep calling him landlord because it's that medieval. Yeah. How fucked it is. It is. <laughs> it is indeed. You just are entitled to payment because you got there first. Theoretically own this. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. How it's like selling water by the lake archaic. kind of thing by the river. Shit's fucked, yo. It's archaic, yeah. And, and so we keep that word, but like we've otherwise come so far away. So my point is I think it's funny to call your boss your lord, but I could see how people be like, we don't need more of that feeling in our lives this day and age. <laughs> I don't know. Some people do. Some people. Voldemort's uh, little gang of gremlins do it. My, my lord, my lord. Remember when uh, Draco's dad is like, when Voldemort's like looking at his wand, he's, he's like, like intimidating. Dragon's heart string, <laughs> and he, the uh, Draco's dad is like, oh, my, my lord. Oh my god. What about you, Lucius? My lord. My lord. He's like thought he was pleasing him or Yeah, but like an honor. He's like, well uh no. It, Voldemort is like, your wand, Lucia. Oh, like giving it back to him. No, no, or he's pres- asking for it. Oh, because okay. Voldemort needs a new wand, and so he's walking up to uh Draco's dad, Lucius, and he's like, Lucius, your wand. And he's like my lord oh like doesn't want to give <laughs> it because he doesn't want to give it away got it because you know and that's a very sacred thing in harry potter right it's your dick basically pretty much and so voldemort is kind of being snarky by being like oh very nice can't wait to the scene goes he he asks for his wand he okay. reluctantly gives it to him and he's like he's um you know auditing it basically he's like Mm, dragon's heart string <laughs> i'm trying to remember this scene because it's it's not that funny but the way he you're says, making it funny oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's like uh you know what's this made out of he's like elden oak and, right and voldemort's like and the core <laughs> and lucius is like dragon's heart string and he snaps oh no <laughs> he's like ah! 
that sucks. And then super out of left field, uh, they start fucking. Yeah, weird. <laughs> I always it hard cuts. This is true. This is true. Most oh, people. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> this is true. It's star wipes to. <laughs> oh, I, I... Makes me laugh every time. Oh. That scene star wipes to a close up shot of Voldemort's balls. <laughs> And it's like, well, when he's I'm fucking gonna take it. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy choice to play that I song. I Anyone can't believe they got the licensing rights to it. It's that it's the ball shot you've seen in seen porn. And Voldemort <laughs> is given a Lucy Samano. What if like they were just that brave and they really fucking did it? They believed in the cause. Oh, the 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 filmmakers. Yes, <laughs> I was like. I was like, Sorry. is Lucius willing to take Voldemort's dick? <laughs> no. No, they are. They're, they're, they are. They're dying for it. Right, what, what if the filmmakers were that brave? Like, truly, like, it's, 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 you bring it up and it's funny to imagine because it's so, such a juxtaposition. And it's funny to think the, about. The Harry Potter movie, the final one, is rated NC-17. And everyone's <laughs> speculating why. Like, oh my god, this is the final movie. Someone must die. Right, and it crazy must... shit. Like, <laughs> But it's just like 30 <laughs> seconds of like full penetration. And stylistic <laughs> shift. Like, irony. Like, <laughs> Judd Apatow fucking like overly like collegiate, dumb, boneheaded in the middle of what is otherwise the same Harry the Potter. The Deathly Hallows Part 2. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, what if they truly did that? <laughs> but it's in the middle and it goes yeah. back to the regular movie. In, yeah. <laughs> right. Like, that's like Lucius Lucius's punishment because he <laughs> speaks out of yeah. terms. It's just an aside. Like, maybe it actually happens. Like, it's canon, the, like the scene ends. Okay, it goes on a little bit longer. This conference of Death Eaters. Everyone, every, everyone's walking out. They're, <laughs> they're, you know, adjourned. And Voldemort is like, Lucius. They have a word. <laughs> Star wipe. <laughs> We're, We're not, not going, going to take it. <laughs> no, yeah. So they're like, and you hear like the desk and shit. Yeah, and he's like, oh my, my lord. <laughs> right, right. Finishes with like on Voldemort's face, and it's like he says some cheesy, dumb <laughs> shit. Like it's like American Pie. I could you know? really go for a cigarette. <laughs> right, right, and it's just, and then it star wipes out. It star wipes out, and then it's uh, yeah, Harry, Hermione, and Ron trekking through the woods. Or none some of shit. that carries over. There's not even like a funny little thing at the end where it's like, well, it's like, man, your wand's huge, and it's like, <laughs> or there's none of that. It just they blow right past it, but. It truly is that against that. And it's, what if they did it? What if they were, because you have a unique opportunity if you are making the Harry Potter movies and you get all the way to seven. It's been a blowout every time. You can do no wrong. This it's is true. the time for like the most you, insane installation art project. Right. You have the <laughs> rapt attention of millions of people who have invested a decade into this franchise. Okay, people are going in. You probably at that point, have the uh, fucking leverage to not even like what? What do you call it? Like when a movie premieres and like all the critics see it first. Yeah, yeah. Um, a yeah. pre-screening. A pre-screen. You don't do that with this movie. You don't do it. Yeah, so the word doesn't even get out. Besides yeah. the you know MPAA who has to rate it NC seventeen. Right. I don't even know how they work that out, but somehow they keep it on the down low, and it hits theaters, and people are lining up for for blocks, sleeping on the sidewalks. People didn't do that for this movie. They, they did it for the books, though. <laughs> right, right, right. They go in and everyone is rocked to their core by this moment. People would justify it. They would make it make sense to them. <laughs> they wouldn't toss it out. Like, the filmmakers would be like, and then there's this insane thing just as so we can. Like, a single star wipe in that movie right, would be insane. would change the history of I mean, it would be in textbooks right be like <laughs> why do like, they do that one of the most one of the greatest mysteries right of modern cinema and it's just doubling down on that phenomenon that is so rarely you know leverageable but you could be like what if we just fucked with the format so psychic like that it rocks people's psyche right and people would try to figure it out for years some <laughs> wannabe movie producer who has hundreds of millions of dollars or more is the person who needs to do that. They got nothing to lose. Maybe I want to buy the rights to Harry Potter and remake it. 
and through some insane connections I have, I get the rights. Right. And then and just enough money. I'm and somehow I get the rights with full creative control. And do the whole movie straight you, edge. You just take it, take the source video, do a little remaster, the files, and then add the scene in. Sure. There. That's that's what I do. Maybe it's straight to DVD. I don't know. But Ready, do whatever you want. It's all on the up and up. It's Harry Potter and the Deathly Hells part two. <laughs> but there's the ball slapping scene. <laughs> Where Voldemort fucks Lucius oh Malfoy. <laughs> it's really short. And there's this star, two Star Wars. <laughs> two Star Wars. <laughs> In and out. Well, <laughs> like fucking Star Wars. Yes. How they're always been like, Whew. they don't even, I don't even think there's Star Wipes in Star Wars. There are Star Wipes in, uh, fucking jeopardy <laughs> right and that's suiting suiting it's, suitable fitting. it suits it but a star right. wiping and, and harry potter star wiping from Bol- voldemort's <laughs> aching ball sack Jesus Christ. to uh harry and hermione dealing with some serious shit right listen dude i gotta drain my balls i gotta piss All right. and as we both know piss is stored in the balls so mm-hmm. i gotta drain them yeah, I'll hold it down for you. And it's compelling me. Well, we're at an hour. You know, we're oh, at time. all right. Well, we're done then. I feel like we're done. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you got more, do you want to say? You can spit it out. No, we've been having a blast. This is kind of a free balling one. Free balling, you know. Yeah, we free balled. We came up with some good synonyms. Yeah, we got what we needed out of that experience. It'll suffice, is what I'm really getting at here. It was good. This episode it's will su- suffice. So maybe I'll make a clip out of the Voldemort. Thing. Yeah, that's big. <laughs> There's something in there to something. share. I'll find. I'll, maybe I'll try and edit that scene together. <laughs> oh my god! I'll use AI. Yeah, you do great with those, by the way. Oh, thank you. With my with my edits, my clips. Yeah, you do a lot on those. Oh yeah, you add a lot. It's the you know your favorite TV show, Rugrats or any cartoon. Hey Arnold, Bubba. you're used to a certain production quality. Yep. Episode yeah. to episode, yeah. and then the the movie comes out, mm-hmm. and it's like whoa. Yes. That's how I am with the clips. Oh, those are the proverbial like sitcom leading. There's up a higher to... budget for the clips, you know. Oh, those are the movies to th- this. Interesting. I see it that I like way. That. I mean, I like that the too. clips. Yeah, duration. This define... is on a bridge, right? Which this is the main entree. Uh huh. Which is which doesn't work for this analogy, but right. As far as production value goes, I edit the clips like they're fucking, you know full motion pictures. You know? Yeah, they come off as little vignette, like, even though they are out of context, quote unquote, like you don't know where they're coming from or where they're going, they feel like they have their own arcs that and their own complete themes. They do. It, well, editing and the choice of the clip. D- depending on the clip, I'll pull... Uh, the, uh, a clip can span... 30 minutes of footage sometimes because like I'll take the setup. Oh, wow. For instance, if I'm clipping any of our little synonym jokes in there, I'll clip my introduction of the segment. So what we're going to do is come up with synonyms for words and then I'll pull the word. Okay, the word is fire truck, which is not a word that we had. You get it. I do. I hobble it together. I got <laughs> I got to drain my balls, dude. All right. So this is it. Cool. We'll see you next time on the Slime Zone. Slime Zone. Peace out. Good night and have fun. Talk to God. Uh